today I want to share with you one of my favourite go-to recipes right now. I love Thai food. I love it, but realistically, Thai food, all those cream and peanuts and all those things that are full of fats are not going to fit my macros. So usually I have to save it for like a cheat or a treat. So I decided that instead of having it as a cheat or treat, why not create my own macro-friendly recipe? What we will need is this piece of apparatus, which I love. It's my spiralizer and I use it so frequently for so many different recipes. It's so convenient, so handy, easy to clean. So today I will be spiralizing some fresh beetroot. I'll cut the top and bottom off and some cucumber. Now there are different settings on the spiralizer. So this is for making like a spaghetti form, which I'll use for the beetroot. And then I will use a plain setting of just spirals for the cucumber. Main ingredient, chicken breast mince. This is from Muscle Food and there's 300 grams, so this whole recipe will serve two people. Or in my case, I'm gonna eat some tonight and then I'm gonna Tupperware the rest for lunch or dinner tomorrow. For that peanutty Thai flavor, instead of using peanut butter, I've got some powdered peanut butter. This cuts back on the fat content and it just has the exact same peanut buttery taste. Surprisingly, a lot of the Thai uh, green paste and red paste are actually quite macro-friendly, especially if you weigh them out. 20 grams of this would go a long way. In my recipe, I'm gonna be using 40 grams of the Thai curry paste and 16 grams of the powdered peanut butter. So next, main ingredient is grated carrot. It's so versatile and so easy to use. And I'm just gonna grate up one medium carrot. Now this usually comes to about 60 grams of carrot, so that will do two servings. Then we get to the salad. I have customized this to my liking and the flavors that I like in a salad, so you can add in things, subtract things, as and when you like. So I start with some baby wash spinach. Then we've got a bit of rocket, just to add that little bit of flavor. And then for bulk, I've got some iceberg lettuce finely cut up. Now I've got about 60 grams here, so that is two portions. I'm gonna do about 30 of each, the rocket and the spinach. Radish, finely chopped, and they add a little bit of a crisp, a little bit of color to your salad. I like to add in scallion. Lex is not a big fan of scallion, but I like it, especially in Thai dishes. I think it adds a really good, strong flavor. I'm really loving beef tomatoes right now. I find them a lot sweeter than regular tomatoes, and I finally diced it again. There's about 70 grams here, so 35 grams per serving. Final ingredient of my salad is a light, sweet chili sauce. I get this in my local Asda. If you can't pick up the light sweet chili sauce, just pick up the regular sweet chili sauce and add in the extra carbs to the recipe. I'm gonna start with this head on the spiralizer for the cucumber. So simply pop it in here. And this will take the core out of your cucumber. And then you just gently push and then there's like a little lever here and we just gently start to spiralize. Now you are just left with this questionably shaped cucumber piece. You can just discard that and then this simply can be removed and washed. Just be very careful of the blades on the spiralizers, they are extremely sharp and they can cause injury when you're cleaning them. I picked up this spiralizer from Amazon, just um, Amazon search spiralizer and there'll be numerous ones and just get one for the best price for you. Last ingredient to go into our salad is the beetroot. Now this is fresh beetroot and it can get a little bit messy so I tend to use a kitchen towel if you have like disposable gloves or something, just to protect your hands because it does stain. Girls, if you've got white or nude nails on, you need to put some gloves on because this will stain your nails. I am going to use the small attachment for the spiralizer. Then again, carefully just push it on to the attachment and then the grips go in. 
And hey presto, we are spiralizing. You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy. Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby. You say so it's just being extra careful to get that beetroot off. As you can see, the spiralizer actually has little sticky feet on it, which is good because it doesn't move while you're spiralizing. I like to add some balsamic vinegar just to slightly pickle the beetroot. And then unlike the rest of my salad ingredients, I store the beetroot separately in its own little container to be added tomorrow. So because the spiralizer keeps it in one big long piece, I tend to cut off bits with the scissors just to make it easier to eat. I have two weighing scales on the go because I like to evenly distribute my food between the two containers. Gives you more accurate readings for your macros. So we have 42 grams in each of the containers ready to be eaten. My colourful salad is all ready to go. It's just waiting for those last two ingredients, the meat and the sweet chilli sauce, which I put on last. We are at the final step in the preparation of my warm Thai chicken salad. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of the extra virgin coconut oil. I've got my chicken breast mince ready to go, 300 grams available for muscle food. Grated carrot, there's 60 grams here. 16 grams of the powdered peanut butter. 40 grams of Alsa own brand Thai green chili paste. And I'll probably add in a little bit of water as well, just as much as is required for the recipe. Lately, but behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy. Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby. You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Her last semester's over. In Minnesota, Chicago's waiting for her. job offers on the table. And she tells all her friends that's why they think we're stable. But I got plans of my own. We're better with no the mixture has been cooking for about five minutes now, and it's all just come together. It's a very, very fast cooking recipe. This could be prepared in 15 minutes max at home. Now I'm just going to leave this to simmer, make sure all the chicken is cooked through for five minutes and it's just on a very low heat so if you add in that little bit of water it gives it time to evaporate off while also cooking the chicken. You just don't want any raw chicken left, especially because it's minced. But this looks quite good so I'm just going to leave that to simmer and wash up my dishes while this is simmering. Here we have the meat all ready to go and again I'm here with my two weighing scales because I'm going to weigh out one into a Tupperware so that I can store it separate from my salads and make it up tomorrow microwave in the Tupperware and then one with my salad all ready to be made and eaten. Yes, I'm so hungry. Then we have it evenly distributed between the Tupperware and my salad. So last but not least, and this gives it kind of the ultimate little kick of Thai flavour to it and it's the light sweet chilli sauce and it's 35% less sugar which is superb. I'm going for about 25 grams. Boom on the money. If you're going to bring this to work or have it at home, you just Tupperware it all up. So here I have my salad, my beetroot, the warm meat which I'm going to let it cool before I put a lid on it. And then if you bring it to work, just weigh out 25 to 30 grams, as much as you want, of the light sweet chilli sauce. And so I'm going to go off and enjoy this. But a few alternatives to make this higher carb or higher fat. So to add some carbs into this recipe, you could simply, instead of spiralising the beetroot, you could spiralise some sweet potato and then just lightly pan fry it and add that into the salad. If you want to add some fat, Simply add some peanut butter, go for it. It's gonna make it delicious. Just put it in with the meat when you're cooking it. It's gonna add in fats and the flavor. So you can increase the macros to suit your own needs. For me, this is a super low carb, low fat, high protein, yummy dinner, which I enjoy so frequently and it's one of my favorites right now. 
I really hope you enjoyed my recipe and if you did please 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 hit the like button it's just there it's just there just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my recipes because I have so many more up my sleeve that I'm just waiting to share with you guys Oh.